<laughs> oh, oh man, I'm gonna give you a real honest description here. What is up team? Today we're gonna be doing a super cool and really fun experiment. We're gonna see if we can cook a chicken breast with just Doritos and if we can distinguish the difference between a regular chicken breast and a Dorito cooked chicken breast. So let's get to grilling. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna take all of these Doritos back here. We're gonna stick them in this grill. Boosh. And then we're gonna light them on fire. <laughs> and then as those Doritos burn down to something that resembles more like coals, then we're gonna grill the chicken. Now as a control, we're going to grill a chicken breast with just regular charcoal. And I'm gonna put them in tin foil and then I'm gonna put them in the oven and then we're gonna do blind taste tests to see if we can really taste the difference. But the first step is seeing if we can actually grill this chicken breast with just Doritos alone. So the reason a Dorito is flammable is it's a carbon body. Carbon is very flammable. Uh, things like wood, uh, charcoal are all carbon based. Uh, and it's then deep fried in a hydrocarbon, which is the corn oil. And hydrocarbons are very flammable. Things like parafilm wax, gasoline, those are all hydrocarbons. So if you combine those two, you really have like a starter block. And that's what we have right here. This Dorito is essentially a starter block. Now you may be thinking, this is sacrilegious. Why would you burn Doritos? Your Doritos are so delicious. We've had these for uh, over two years. They're stale beyond belief. They really just, they have to be put to use. Trust me, the sacrifice is worth it. It's for science. All right, just like regular charcoal, I'm going to just add a little bit of this to get it started. Not a lot. Don't want to overdo it. I'm always so surprised about how flammable Doritos really are. That's wild. You eat those things. <laughs> that is insane how much fire that is. I'm gonna go get the chicken. This looks pretty hot. Leaking out the bottom. Corn oil. We're gonna capture the mystery fluid. I think it's burnt corn oil. I think so too. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on our bootleg grill. Fire <laughs> grilled chicken. So we noticed something smelling that smelled just burnt. And we looked underneath and there's this leaking oil. And it's, it's essentially leaking burnt corn oil, which looks like almost tar. Yeah, but you can literally smell the corn oil. Like it smells, it smells exactly like what it looks like. It's just the grease of a Dorito in its liquid form, burnt. And it looks like motor oil. Here we go. Cook this thing thoroughly. It just smells so gross. Like, I'm kind of terrified to taste it. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so you're gonna try it first, right? Yeah. A little charred. The little more, uh, I would say, uh, smoke to the Dorito grill. We did this once before and we used steaks. Now steaks I think were a little deceiving because the steak was already gonna cook a dark color, you know, d brown. But the chicken breasts should not look dark, smoky, gray, black. And currently it does. Toasty chicken. Mm. That sound looks good. It, actually looks like it looks like a Dorito. Really thick. Wow, totally cooked all the way through and very juicy. So success, uh, we definitely cooked one full chicken breast with just Doritos. Just gonna let those simmer out. 
thinking about the cleanup here. It doesn't smell good in there. I have to wash that. I can't believe how much is burnt down. I mean, that, there's really not much left. I've got a hose. I'm just gonna hose this thing down. All right, so now it's time for the control. So we're gonna use just regular charcoal, we're gonna cook just a regular chicken breast, and then we're gonna compare the difference. Here's the control piece. Woo. Nice. Obviously there's a big difference between the charcoal and the Doritos. However, they're both carbon based, but the big difference is, is that charcoal is actually twice burnt. So it's wood that's already been burnt to a crisp essentially, and then they take that carbon source and they compress it into a little uh, brick and then you reburn it and when you reburn it there's less smoke so less smoke ends up all over the food the Doritos there was smoke everywhere and so it kind of coated the outside of the chicken breast so it'll be really interesting to see what happens and if we'll be able to taste the difference and if we've cooked all the way through or not we don't want to get it too crispy so juicy on the inside Test piece. We know which one the test piece is. So now is the time for the taste test. Here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna cut this up into a couple different little pieces and we're gonna know which plate is on which. So the Dorito is always gonna be on this plate, this purple, and the charcoal is gonna be on the red. We're going to blindfold each person and we're gonna take a cut of each and we're gonna serve it to them. So they won't know, they're gonna be in the garage and they're gonna come out and we're going to give them the piece of chicken on a fork already and we're gonna see if they can decipher which one it is. And we're gonna do that between myself, my girlfriend, Jeanann, and the cameraman, Sam. Jeanann has came into play and she's gonna be our first taste tester. It's perfect because she has the least amount of knowledge uh, for which one of these pieces of chicken, where it came from. Make sure you're not getting your hair in there. I've got a ton of hair in there. Yep, I got a lot of hair in there. Whoops. <laughs> the worst. I did a horrible job not getting her hair in there. I can't see. Okay, good. Come over here, boo. Well, one of them tastes like cheese because I hate cheese. Okay, so you guys know which one this is. Mm. So that's that piece right there. Okay. Oh, here's the first taste test. Go ahead and open up. That's good and it's really soft. Mm. <laughs> it's like gummy. Are you sure it's cooked all the way? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's cooked all the way. I mean, definitely tastes real like charcoal y. I mean, like outdoor cooking type. And here is number two. Open up. I have to clean my palate. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want cross contamination. Here, here. Here's some water. Oh. Is that uh, tournament uh, quality? Uh, tournament quality, it's been triple distilled. Yeah, only okay. the finest. So here's number two. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 <Why? laughs> the first one had an unusual taste and was not as charcoal-y, so I say that's the Doritos one. Are you sure, 100%? I'm 100%. You are correct. <laughs> I knew it. There's something wrong with that smell. <laughs> Like, smell it. I don't I'm not there yet. Next up is Sam. I am ready for the taste test. I'm ready to make the sacrifice for science. <laughs> That's, yes, you are. And feed him. All right, this is number one. Okay. All right, describe to this the flavor. Um, it tastes like raw tuna. Like that charcoaly, chemically tuna. <laughs> That's what I would, you know. It sounds delicious. It's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go to number two. All right. This tastes really weird. Okay. Um, this one tastes more burnt. Is this, 
Is this chicken that you fed me, or did you like? Are you messing with me? Um, <laughs> oh <my laughs> it just tastes God. like dry chicken. <laughs> but like with a chemical, like it's like if you just poured butane over the chicken and like lit it on fire, and then you like made sure all the water was out of the chicken. That's what it tastes like. I think the first one was the uh, Doritos one. I think the, the second one, because it was like really charcoaly, I feel like that was the charcoal one. You are correct. Okay, <laughs> so there was, a, there was a definite distinction between yeah. the two. I will say the first one did have a little, little bit of nacho cheesiness to it. <laughs> I I definitely tasted a little bit of the nacho cheese. We're gonna do the same thing, but uh, I'm gonna try it. What if I got a pumpkin marshmallow and put it in his mouth? Do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do two of these. So we got those sprites. Okay. Open wide, here comes the airplane. <laughs> We know like it. <laughs> I know. Man, ooh, I, I, I can't swallow this. I'm gonna give you a real honest description here. If I, if you burnt a bunch of plastic cups and then grilled them over top of something, that, I can't even, uh -uh. That's like real chewed up. At that point, just like <laughs> swallow it. <laughs> that looks like throw up. He can't hold his chicken. Lord have mercy. Can I get the pallet washer? Yes. <laughs> that was awful, people. That was awful. <laughs> you like if you have like smoke houses, you know, you like smoke fish and stuff. I just ate a piece of burnt plastic smoked chicken. No, no bueno. Okay, number two. <clears throat> All right, number two. <laughs> it tastes squishier. <laughs> it tastes somewhat like, um, kind of like a piece of chicken that was grilled with marshmallows. All right, you ready for the second bite? <laughs> the third. Yeah, let me clear my palate. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's laughing. This is not good. If I had to guess, number three uh, was just regular grilled chicken over charcoal. And number two was a chicken from a marshmallow. <laughs> and then number one was the Dorito one, which was a disaster. What? Uh, what? <laughs> Well, you got the marshmallow right. Yeah, you did get the marshmallow And the right. first one. The third one was also oh, that's the Dorito awful. chicken. Oh, the placebo effect. <laughs> oh. We tricked you into eating and swallowing a bite. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't that bad. So maybe there's just certain portions of it oh, yeah. that are worse. The bite that you gave me right here in the middle was horrible. And then I've been cutting in pieces for you. Like, just look at the color of that. That looks like, that does look like tuna or pretty, fish. Pretty nice color. Oh. Yeah. Can I taste this for just comparison? Well, yeah. <laughs> right now though. When you taste number four, you really know. There's a real super deep charcoal flavor. That's what I said, yeah. In conclusion, three out of three blind taste testers at least made a distinction between the charcoal chicken and the Dorito cooked chicken. Um, also in summary, the Dorito cooked chicken did not taste like Doritos per se, but more of this burnt corn oil slash industrial chemical flavoring. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, one, were you surprised that we cooked an entire piece of chicken on Doritos alone? And two, that we were able to tell the difference between a piece of chicken that was grilled on charcoal and one that was grilled just on Doritos. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.